Some researching this topic. What impact does age have on student success in distance learning? I can type this entire question, question mark and all, into Google and get millions of results in less than a second. I'm going to try searching in the ERIC database. If I search for my full research question in the search bar, as I did with Google, my results are sad. This isn't because the key education database doesn't provide access to resources that address my research question. It's because the databases are not designed to respond to full questions or statements. Rather, library databases are built to respond to what are called keywords. Keywords or search terms are significant words or phrases that describe the main concepts of your research question. So if I look again at my question, I see that I'm really seeking the relationship between age and student success in distance learning. The key factors of this question are age, student success, and distance learning. I'm going to put these three terms or phrases into the advanced search option in the ERIC database. You will see that the advanced search option connects these terms with an AND. This uppercase AND is what is called a Boolean operator and it triggers a database to only pull up results that have all the keywords. This is the key to getting the most relevant results. I don't want every article that talks about age. I only want articles that talk about age in relation to student success in distance learning. I put phrases such as student success in quotes because this triggers the database to recognize the two words as one unit. This helps prevent getting less relevant results. When I hit search, I find 18 results, which narrows down to seven when I click the peer-reviewed link on the left. The good news is that these seven results should all directly address my research question and are likely to meet the criteria of being scholarly. But seven results doesn't sound like too many. When you're developing keywords, remember that people may use different words or phrases that mean the same thing. For example, although I use the term distance learning in my research question, Another author may have conducted research related to distance learning, but called it online learning, or online education, or distance education. To account for this, it is important to consider synonyms to your keywords and use another Boolean operator, OR, to connect them. The OR Boolean operator triggers the database to consider all the words as part of the results. So all my results should have at least one of these terms, but it does not need to contain them all. Unlike using the AND Boolean operator, which limits your research to only include results that address all keywords, using the OR operator expands your search. When I conduct this search, I get 24 highly relevant scholarly sources. When starting your research, taking time to extract keywords from your research question and develop synonyms is time well spent.